Hi, I'm Hannah Bernard and you're watching Market One Minute. Today I am joined by Lee Buckler. He is the Vice President of Business and Corporate Development at Replicel Life Sciences. Now Lee, you've been with the company for just over a year now. Tell me a little bit about Replicel. So Replicel is what I describe as a new breed of biotechnology company because we're in the regenerative medicine industry and our, we're using cells, in our instance the patient cells, as the basis of the medicinal products that we're creating. And what that translates into is, A, we have a goal to be curative of the conditions we're addressing, or functional cures, rather than just addressing symptoms um, um, like most drugs and biologics do. But also the risk profile of these products is significantly lower than drugs and, and, and biologics that are on the market today. And what that means is that oftentimes the commercialization timeline and the cost for getting these products on the market is lower than what people have traditionally become accustomed to for drugs and biologics. And now with the development, what stage is the development at and what has it accomplished in the last 12 months? So we've got an outstanding team that's really pulled out all the stops to deliver um, almost everything we set out for in 2015. And that's to move forward every single one of our assets in a very meaningful way. So we launched two clinical trials, uh, one for chronic tendon injury, one for the treatment of sun damaged and aging skin. Um, does, locked up the design specifications on our dermal injector device, so we're poised to move into the building and testing of functional prototypes um, for that device, and then prepared to launch next phase clinical trials of our treatment for androgenic alopecia in Japan with our partner Shiseido. Now, in addition to those clinical trials, what other near-term milestones can investors look forward to? So this is what's really exciting, is everything we've done for the past 36 months, and certainly the pivots that we made in 2015, prepare us for um, uh, significant milestones and events next year on every single one of those programs. So we expect clinical data from our tendon trial, clinical data from our dermatology trial, um, a CE mark on our dermal injector device, which means it's market ready, ready to be sold on the market, all of which are significantly meaningful events for the company in and of themselves, but all of which we think are also licensable events. And that pertains to our whole business model to put to partner with, uh, with all of our products with sophisticated multinationals. Now you mentioned the new dermal injector. Tell me more about that and its application. So this is, this is interesting. We're not a, a, a device company. At the end of the day, we're a cell therapy company. But uh, we became increasingly convinced as we we're developing our cell therapies that to control the results, we had to control the delivery. And so we've come up with a next generation dermal injector that you can control the depth and dose of delivery in a three dimensional matrix and bring significant value and increase the patient experience, we think, for anything you want to inject through the skin, whether that's drugs, vaccines, biologics, or cells like we are. And now you've always been very outspoken about your licensing and, and partnership strategies, and you have just secured a licensing partnership in 2013 with Shiseido Cosmetics, right? So do you have any others that you're working on right now? Absolutely. I mean, we're, first of all, we're very proud of that relationship with Shiseido, and, it, and it's a very collaborative and ongoing effort um, for the co-development of that product um, in Asia um, with Shiseido. But we are also moving very aggressively on, uh, on, on most importantly, two fronts um, on the partnership um, um, front today. One is in Japan. Japan has distinguished itself last year as the country in which it's possible to bring cell therapies like we're developing faster than any other country in the world. So there's a tremendous appetite for partnerships in Japan and we have a uh, we enjoy a nice profile in Japan because of our partnership in Shiseido. So we're moving aggressively with partnerships in Japan and then because our dermal injector device is expected to be CE mark next year in Europe we um, are on, on, in some exciting discussions around that and expect to have the first of deal around that dermal injector next year. Lee, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely, thank you.